I've been fostering now for two and a half years um, and uh, in that time we've had five children, uh, two girls, uh, two sisters. Um, we had them for about six months and then we had two brothers for about seven and now we have a teenager who we've had for 14 months. For me fostering is um, a great experience. I've always had uh, a mantra um, that uh, life is about making a difference and for me fostering is a great way of making a difference um, to an individual or to a few children at a time. I think it's also good in terms of your own self-development. I've learned an awful lot about myself. Some of it not so good, but quite a lot of uh, skills that I didn't realise I had before that, uh, that I've developed. For some of these children, they will only make small steps, but for them, they're huge. Um, and it's amazing how passionate you get about these children. Um, and you just celebrate the smallest step out. And I think if you focus on looking for those small steps, that's when it becomes really rewarding. If you're looking for big, major things, you might not see those. But to learn to celebrate those small um, steps with, with, the, with the children is, is really great. Um, and to help them develop that, that self-belief, that self-esteem. You may have some of these children for a very short period of time, um, and I think it's about showing them that, that sometimes there's a different way of doing things. Um, and then there are others you may have for a long time that actually you can make huge steps with, you know, really develop their self-esteem, um, help them learn new skills. And, uh, and it's just great to, to, to watch the development in them. Um, you do find you become very attached. Um, I think I surprised myself as to how attached I became to the youngsters I've had. Um, and you become very passionate about their cause, uh, which I think is what these children need. They need somebody who's going to stand up for them, um, whether that's talking to school or other professionals. Um, they need a voice. Uh, and sometimes as a foster carer, you are the one who knows them the best. Uh, and you become that voice for them. And I suppose for me another advantage is the fact that when I chose to give up my job um, I was able to get the dog I always wanted because working away from home meant I couldn't walk a dog whereas now um, you know I can, I can take him for walks and actually having pets uh, is actually quite an advantage in fostering as well. Um, you'll sometimes find the children will talk to the dog when they won't talk to you um, uh, and uh, it gives them somebody to love when maybe they don't feel they're as attached to you. Um, the dog is, uh, you know, is the one they can cuddle, the one they can uh, talk to. Um, so having a pet is also a, a great advantage in fostering. Fostering brings some challenges. Um, but I think, um, as I said before, there's a lot of support there for you. So it's about learning. Um, I've learned a lot as a foster carer, uh, especially in the areas of attachment and the impact of trauma on young children uh, and young people.